Oh my goodness, everybody. Hello. Uh, what's going on? Welcome to Brian's Infinite Dungeon. Uh, as you can see, we're doing things a little different this week, but I'm excited. I'm ready to see how it goes. I see Drizzy is here. Amiability. The state Arizona. Uh, I saw some other people too, whether or no. Hi, everyone. Uh, how is it going? Mage Jonah. Yeah, chat on the screen. What up? Uh, that is so people watching maybe on YouTube in the future can keep up with who I am talking to all of this time. No, you can't flood this with flint. You can't do it. Um, but also, you can. I can't stop you. I think I could, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, welcome to... Uh, should I... That's... Ah, whatever. Maybe not, but... I don't care. <laughs> we'll deal with that in the future. Um, let me put it this way. I'm going to curse. Uh, so this is Infinite Dungeon. Normally, uh, I use this time to try and make um, dungeons with friends that you can hopefully use for your ga your silly games uh, whenever. Uh, but I thought it would be fun this time to actually prep the show that we're going to do on Thursday, uh, which is Bob's Burgers, and see if, you know, like, you guys want to get involved. Um, that begs the question, is this spoilers for Thursday? Uh, that's up to you. Uh, we will be obviously making the dungeon and talking about kind of the little story we're putting together. Um, but I know that every week, and I'm surprised every week by what happens and, uh... The old dungeon master wisdom that no plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. Uh, so we can literally come up with anything and it likely won't actually happen on the stream. Uh, but that's why I'm hoping this will be fun. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, seeing kind of... You'll be able to watch on Thursday uh, seeing the wheels turning in my brain uh, and seeing when we've gone off the rails and when we're kind of sticking to what I maybe thought would happen, which is what I'm always trying to do. Um, we never know what Eli, Carol, what Eli, Tony, and Kara will do. That is true. I don't either. Uh, ever. Um, uh, let's see. Diet Coke, I had to say that because it came up over the bottle. Uh, that is my Diet Coke that I will be reaching for when I finish my beer. Because um, I have a problem. You guys do not want to know how many uh, empty boxes of Diet Coke are back there. So if Diet Coke wants to sponsor TV and D, we'll think about it. Uh, all right, everybody. Uh, so Thursday, like I said, we're doing Bob's Burgers, which, um, is exciting because that's actually one of my favorite shows. Um, so, uh, basically the show is difficult to prep for. Uh, I think we are, we're figuring it out as we go. Uh, but it is an interesting challenge to try and put any work into a... 90-ish minute comedy role-playing where also we're kind of aiming to tell a complete story in that 90 minutes. We want to tell, we want to do very episodic storytelling um, so that new people can just come in and enjoy the show, whether they're coming in week one or week three. Um, that is a goal. Um, and uh, it's a challenge to try and pull off. Uh, so... We'll give it our best go. Uh, okay, so Bob's Burgers. Uh, let's flip over to roll 20 so we can look at... Uh, well, basically, um, we'll doodle out some encounter areas and see what happens from there. Uh, let's see. I mean, the redacted stream. Yeah, we don't talk about that stream. Um, but, uh, okay, so basically what I'm thinking this week... Um, the characters we have are Bob, Linda, and Jean, um, who, if you watch Bob's Burgers, those are the parents and the middle child. Uh, and that's a fun, good group. And we want to try, I want to try to come up with an adventure that, um, uh, they didn't pick Tina. Uh, they, I let them choose whatever they want 
and they did not pick Tina. Um, Eli gives off so much Tina energy. That's funny. We, like, so we were immediately like, you got you got an H. John Benjamin vibe that we can uh, definitely tap into. Oh, no, white text on white background. Yeah, I didn't plan this out. Uh, tell you what, just is what it is. And that's what we're going to say it is. Uh, okay, so my initial plan is that I thought it would be funny if uh, mutant evil ground beef became, was the villain and the problem of the adventure. Um, I was so I asked, I'm going to ask, uh, oh no, Ma, this is a mess. Text has got enough of a joke that I think it's readable. I think it's fine. Um, so, yeah. Um, evil ground beef is what I want to do. Uh, what I've asked uh, Eli, uh, uh, Carolyn, and Tony to think about is uh, I want Eli to, uh, to come up with why Bob is excited to open the restaurant that day and why that day needs to go well. Um, You know, basically I want this adventure to kind of turn Bob's gears a little bit. Uh, I asked Carolyn to think about how Jean accidentally or on purpose uh, animated all of this beef uh, and is responsible for it uh, happening probably the night before. And uh, I asked Tony to come up with why Linda is helping Gene keep the secret that he is responsible. Uh, So ideally that's some interesting drama to get the characters to care about what's happening. I think even though this is a goofy goof em up role-playing show, I do think it works best in like our King of the Hill uh, campaign where the characters genuinely have some stake in this, and there's stakes between the relationships, um, and that's I think when we when we really tap into that, the show really works. Um, so hopefully that happens. But uh, you know, everyone's throwing suggestions out there. I don't know. I, that's that stuff we'll have to come up with on the fly. We we can't plan for that. Uh, so we have to come up with a couple of different ideas uh, that can allow me to improvise on the fly. Um, That usually means bottlenecking a little bit. Um, Because the show is 90 minutes, um, we can usually get around to like three kind of encounters or scenes, a beginning, a middle, and end, if you will. Um, And just the nature of the show is we can't do a lot of environmental storytelling. It kind of has to be very apparent and very simple. Um... So, I'm hoping that the show will open with uh, Eli explaining why Bob is excited for... uh, Oh, Brian, define bottlenecking. I'm a confused person. Uh, So, uh, basically, I've got these three points, these three almost hallways in the adventure. Um, It'll... Imagine a wide open space to kind of play in. Uh, Hey, what do you do? Uh... To move the adventure forward. Now, instead of kind of just the adventure going in all different directions, I'm kind of trying to steer them in this one direction. But I sort of want to play mind games a little bit, and I I want them to do that without them feeling like I'm making them do that. Um, That's not normally how I play D&D, but uh, I, for a comedy role-playing show, that tends to be um, slightly better to get a, a slightly more rewarding, dramatic experience. Um, so, I think the adventure is going to start with Bob coming down the stairs from his apartment to open up his tavern, restaurant, whatever, uh, and to find that mutant beef has uh, is taking up and trashing the restaurant. Uh-oh, we have a problem. Uh, so let's doodle out a little encounter map, uh, of the restaurant. Uh, you will notice very, those of you who don't know me as well, um, you'll discover very fast. This is not Drawfee. I 
am a truly terrible artist, and I'm just kind of going to lean into that. Because this show is more about vibes. I like this rough square. Pardon my silence while I doodle out a square. The restaurant's kind of long, right? Uh, you know what we'll call that? We'll call that good enough, baby. Uh, all of Brian's dungeons look like genitals. That is true, but you, it do, everything you said was true. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt when you say that. <laughs> Um, I'm kidding, of course. But, um, let's see. That's not a squiggly line, it's a secret room! Yeah, baby. Um, let's see. Uh, are we gonna get Mr. Fish Odor or Teddy in there? I hope at some point. I don't, I don't see them coming up in this adventure. Um, but I have been wrong about that in the past so let's throw now we are also adapting um the restaurant into this is not literally the bob's burgers right this is a fantasy dungeons and dragons version of bob's burgers uh so we want to kind of evoke that if there we we or we don't even necessarily have to evoke it right but we want we have the freedom to take liberties uh because this is of course dungeons and dragons inspired um, let's move that onto the map layer where it belongs. Okay. Great. There we go. Now we're playing D&D. &D. That's the door, right? That looks like a door. Uh, let's see. What have we got? Uh, it means, it means we got a little extra charm. Uh, Bob's murders. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, there's a Mage Jonas says there's a rectangular tool in roll twenty. Yes, there is. I kind of like a little slop. I like it. I like the maps on the show to look a little like I scribbled them in a notebook. I like that vibe. I like it a little messy. I never like it when the game is too clean. Not interesting to me. Make it weird and bad or don't do it. Oh, that's a rough one. Let's take that back. Let's take that back. Let's do that one again. I could hear the scribbling sounds as you were drawing out. That's what I want. I want this to feel like a whiteboard or a notebook. Heck yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Here's the counter. I think I like those red seats, right? Boop. -doop. And this is where our first encounter is going to take place, uh, where uh, Bob is probably going to fight a whole bunch of mutant beef things. Um, kind of like a little slap. Brian 2021. Yeah, baby. Uh, so, um, basically, these mutant beef things are going to be... I, th I think there's like little hunks of goblin beef. Um, and uh, they are trashing the restaurant, and their goal is to capture Bob. Um, that is going to be primary number uno, because they, what they're actually going to do is try to bring him into the basement where they are going to ground him up and turn him into Bob's Burgers. A Bob Burger. Uh, and I, yeah, so basically I think it's going to be a big, like, eat Bob type of thing. Uh, so I, I imagine this encounter going, um, they're going to fight. Uh, the second the party drops one, uh, I think they're gonna run away. But that's both because um, I think it makes sense. I think these, I think these little beef things are um, excited to be alive uh, and don't want to throw that away in combat. So the so the first one that gets killed, boom, they're gonna run, um, and then that also helps us in our timing uh, because I keep stressing this is a ninety minute show that or sometimes two hours if we're really on a if we really gotta get through it. Um, but the timing factor is a big deal. Um, 
that we, you know, I, we don't want this to be a two, three hour stream. We, we like a nice contained, um, show. Um, that's also worth keeping in mind. If you run convention games, um, you'll need to come up with adventures that are short, um, that you can run a couple of times throughout a day. Um, Let's see. What's a fun burger name on the menu? Okay, so that is a good one. Um, uh, we've actually made Bob an alchemist, and he's going to get to make burgers with magical effects, uh, which opens up a lot of room for chaos. So there were these dividers here. Making dividers to put some tables in. Okay, so we're gonna. The tables kind of had like a yellowish thing, which, you know what? We'll stick with that. I'm no artist. Fuck off. This is pretty good. Okay, uh, let's see. There's like a bathroom door over here. I like that. A latrine. Here's a door to the kitchen. Um, and we'll also throw, there's like a window here, which might be fun. Uh, one thing I need to remember while we're doing this combat is to, um, and uh, one thing, one thing that'll be tough is you guys can watch the show on Thursday, uh, having heard my thought process, or even like go back and watch this afterwards. Hear all my good intentions that get thrown out the window once I'm actually running the game. Uh, I want, I don't want the um, the little meat blobs to like actively attack. Uh, I want them to be like picking stuff up from the counter and like throwing them, uh, throwing napkin dispensers and like ketchup. Uh, just making as big of an uncleanable mess as possible, right? Um, okay. This actually ain't half bad. I'll be honest with you. Okay, so let's now make the back kitchen area. Nope. I have very limited desk space right now. That's fine. So my mouse is often uh, not a lot of space to play in. And that is why everything looks bad. That's not why. But I will claim that to be the reason all day. Okay, and then we're going to throw this backward. To the back! Uh, let's see. That's why you have the ruckus be chaotic now, so you can at least have a little order later. I like it. I like it. Um, does that make Bob's Burgers? Impossible meat. That's funny. Um, alchemy. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. If you guys come up with a, um, a good name for a... Uh, uh, burger to have on the menu I will make sure to throw it out during the stream let's put a little chalkboard there so I remember to do that okay okay um What's next? Uh, okay, there is a grill back here, right? Right? That could be fun. That could potentially come up as a weapon during the encounter. Uh, for either side, if you ask me, there's probably something right here. What is it? Don't know. Maybe a prep station. Uh, and then we have a door to the basement. That's going to be important because that's where the dungeon is. All right. You know, that ain't bad. I think that's a pretty decent little encounter room, area, space. Uh, I'm not going to try to stat up the monsters, I think. 
Uh, basically, the nature of this show kind of being what it is, I uh, tend to... I give them, like, plus two in things they should reasonably be good at, and then I give them um, minus two in things they'd be bad at, uh, and then I kind of wing it from there. Uh, I actually don't usually... This is a uh, this is an infinite dungeon secret uh, that you can't tell uh, people on Thursdays, but uh, often I don't really give a shit about HP. Uh, you know, a good couple hits that's enough to take something out. The <laughs> Alexam or uh, Alexam with Presto Sauce. That's good. I like that. Um, Dawn of <laughs> Dawn of the Red Onions. <laughs> oh, that's good. That one's real good. Um, I think four is a good one to start. I might adjust that on the fly. Uh, let's put one on the table over here. Uh, and uh, one up here. So they're just, they're, they're ruining the restaurant, making a mess. Um, and then... Uh, Bob will come in first. Bob will probably call on uh, the rest of the party. If not, after a round, I'll probably give them a chance to um, hear the commotion and come in themselves. Um, so, ideally, this will lead to, um, you know, the, the so, okay. All right, think of this. This is rambly, because I'm thinking out loud. Uh, so... We're going to have this combat, and then inevitably, Bob should have questions, right? If I were to, if playing this out in my head, um, they'll have the fight. Um, Bob will have questions about what the hell is happening. Uh, Gene and Linda will kind of be weird about it. Uh, and that will uh, maybe somehow, hopefully, lead them into the basement. If it doesn't, I got to wing it and I got to try to get them in there another way. I don't usually plan for that stuff. Um, I just try to figure it out as we're going. Uh, let's see. Could there be a situation where if you cut them in half, they just split into two? Like you got to find the right way to smush them? That's funny. I do like that. Uh, my concern is timing. Uh, if if they're absolutely pile driving through these guys, I yes, that's funny, and I think I would do that. Um, if we got a late start, if uh, the first couple of hits miss, don't really have time for it. Uh, but I do think it's really fun. Once again, that is the constant struggle of planning for this show is, do we have time? Do we have time? Do we have time? Uh, I'm, oh, I always think I have it kind of locked and then I'm always still cutting stuff, uh, as we play, uh, which is another thing you might notice. You might, you might, uh, notice me prepping something, uh, on this stream that takes a lot of time and seems really exciting. And then we just don't have time for it. And I have to cut it on the fly. Um, and it breaks my heart every single time. Not really a burger pun, but power word skillet is funny. I like that. Uh, I like like with a hydro where you have to turn the burn the next keep the I like that. I like that all a lot. Um you have to kill them with the grill is good. Um maybe we focus up. Maybe there's a bigger one. Um maybe there's a bigger one and uh he is actually creating the little guys. So he's like pulling the little guys out of him and throwing them and then they <laughs> onto the onto the ground and then they sprout little hands and legs like ah, ah, ah. maybe that'll happen as bob enters bob enters and he sees the big guy pull a chunk out of himself throw it it becomes a new sentient thing um so essentially taking him out is the way to go um uh do 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 Okay, okay. I think, I think that's our first map. I actually don't mind that. Uh, so, so we need a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, I think the final room of the adventure is going to be a, um, 
a dungeon room uh, where there's a big grinder set up and uh, the big boss monster, who might be a cow, um, is going to try to uh, get Bob in through the grinder. Um, but we need like two rooms for them to go through before that. I have an idea for one. And let's do that now. Let's duplicate this page. Dun, 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 dun. Duplicate. And then let's kill all of this. Aren't there demon cows in Diablo? I've never played, so I might be missing. There are demon cows in Diablo. Maybe? I don't remember. I, I It's hard to separate. Um... There's, there's definitely some meme around Diablo and cows. Um, couldn't tell you what it is, though. So, let's make a room here. Um, now, in the show, the Bob's Burgers basement is basically just a big square cement room. Uh, that's not great for a dungeon. So, we're just going to assume that our Bob's Burgers basement is a dungeon. Why? Because we can do that. Uh, let's see here. Let's put a door over here. That is a door. Uh, let's see. I think there's a staircase over here. Guess what that is? A staircase. I don't see the problem. I think that looks great. Uh, let's throw... Let's make them a different color than the door. Let's throw some crates. Um, another thing that we have to kind of plan for as part of this show is the poles. Um, and letting you guys kind of decide stuff. Um... I think I'm going to do that. And that, that actually is really difficult. Um, it's hard to plan that around dungeon cohesion. Um, when kind of we've got these sort of interactive parts that I love doing, uh, but they are part of the challenge of the show. Um, I think we're going to hide something in these, in these crates over here. Um, but I'll let you guys decide on the polls um, what could be in there. Um, so if you guys want to shoot out some ideas for what could be hiding in here, um, I'll throw them. I'll throw them on the poll during the show. Oh my god, brisket! Bri oh god, damn it! God damn it, brisket! Of course you. Oh no! All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe brisket plays plays a role in the final adventure of this game, uh, of this campaign. Maybe we'll see. Um, so I have this idea here. Um, uh, Gene is responsible for the um, for the burger beef coming to life, probably by accident. Um, but that's up to Carolyn, and we won't. I won't know that until day up. So we can't plan around that. Uh, but I think it'd be really funny if the, uh, little beef monsters now worship Gene as their god. Uh, so as they come down the stairs to, um, to investigate, uh, what's going on, they see that these little meat monsters have turned this room into a shrine to Gene. Uh, including building a terrible beef Jean statue in the center. Um, and that's mixed with uh, also written in like beef blood, eat Bob. Uh, so like uh, uh, Jean is their, their God and their savior and Bob is the devil whom they will eat. Yeah, hell yeah. Gene God, Gene God, eat Bob. 
<laughs> That's exactly it. Um, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm really, really excited for this one. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna put a nice little like beef juice splatter. That needs to go. Let's put these in the front. Nope. You did the opposite of what I wanted you to do. There we go. So that's our little Jean statue in the center. Um... Eat more, Bob. <laughs> yes. Um, isn't beef blood just regular blood? It is. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's it, it, it's still worth noting to me that it is not blood from a uh, a physical thing. Beef is a physical thing. Um, it is not murder blood. Yeah, I guess it is. It, it, um. I don't know. It's beef blood. It's beef blood. It's blood. Um, Zombie. <laughs> Very good. Um, uh, okay. So let's put some more. Uh, let's put a shelf over here. Um, I don't know what's going to be on the shelf, but they might look, and I'll come up with something on the fly. Um... Actually, you know what we'll do? Okay, gang. This is going to be our... Okay, it's also worth noting, um, you guys who are watching this right now, you're on my team now. Uh, you can't... You can't give them clues while we're playing just because you have more information. You have all the information. Uh, see, we are now all co-DMs in this scenario. Um... But one thing I love is uh, they, Carolyn, Eli, and Tony, never search rooms. They absolutely are only looking for the door forward uh, to the to the objective. So I love to hide treasure in rooms uh, that would be extremely valuable uh, and extremely helpful for like the remainder of the campaign because they never find them. Uh, so behind this shelf right here, come up with the craziest fucking thing you could, not the crazy, it can't break the game, uh, but let's throw something great here and watch them never go near it. A room that's empty except for a plinth in the center. Okay, here's the thing. Love that. Um, I love to throw things in dungeons that don't do anything. Um, it's just, so like just a plinth in the center. Watch them. Uh, uh, if this is any game. Uh, watch them like spend so much time trying to figure out what the right answer is with this thing. And it's literally just there as a distraction. I love doing that. Because um, it makes the whole thing feel a little more alive. Uh, and also it gets my friends mad at me. Um, a magic, a big old magic flame sword is good. A spatula is good. Um, uh, Bob is starting with a spatula as his weapon. Um, but, uh, oh, spatula of beef slang. The flaming spatula of beef slang is really good. And I think that is hidden. In a little alcove behind this. Bob like put it there and then forgot about it. Uh, I think is the move. Just catching up on chat right now. Um, potion that automatically beats beef not be alive. No, because then what are we going to do for the rest of the game? That was good <laughs> good teamwork, gang. I'm so proud of us not just saying blimp. <laughs> um Okay, great. Um so kind so uh, yeah, so we're hiding a flaming spatula there. Um that'll be like plus two against beef uh creatures, against beefy creatures. Uh we'll also put some like consumable stuff in here. Watch them, they won't check that either. Um there is nothing of interest on here. This is all cooking grease and stuff um 
so maybe an attack chicken. I don't what's an attack chicken? What is that supposed to be? Um Let's also throw here just real fast. E nope, nope, wrong. Wrong. Just so it is right on the thing when we begin at uh, no. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Do do do. Eat Bob in blood. Tofu golem is funny. I toss uh, I toss a room with four unlit torches and some boxes of lamps at a group. Uh, they spent like an hour messing with it. It was just a storage room and the bandits had robbed a lamp merchant. That's good. Uh, one of my favorite ones to ever do. Um, I did not come up with it. I found it on a forum somewhere. Uh, but um, just a ship uh, coming into a dock and act everyone acting very suspicious. Um and uh, that eventually leads players to investigate it, uh, and there are these uh, this cargo on the ship um, that they're very pro- that everyone on it is very very protective of. Open it up, and then it's literally just red herrings. Ooh. Like I said, I didn't come up with that. I saw it on a forum a long, long time ago, but I, I've always liked it. Uh, okay. Okay, wait. I read the other day about how scientists have programmed spinach to be able to tell when explosives are nearby. What could the value of that possibly be? So what if spinach uh, that could tell you if enemies are in the next room or something? That's funny. I'd love to throw that in the barrels. Um... That's pretty funny. I like it. I do. Scientists have programmed spinach. Wheel. I believe you. It's not that I don't believe you. I just don't understand why. Um, the spinach wilts near magical monsters. I love it. I love it. I love it. At airports? So the... I need to know everything about this. I, I believe you. I do. Why? There has to be a better way. Holy shit, now I feel like a way to break the game is to have a commune with plants ability. That's funny. How we doing on time? Not too bad. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So, I don't know what's in the next... This is a, this is a pretty railroady dungeon, but I think that's okay because... Um, I think the interesting thing here is the character dynamic um, and uh, Bob being excited about whatever he's excited about. Gene clearly having thrown a wrench in that um, and everything going wrong, I think, is the interesting part, not the dungeon itself. Uh, so I want to make sure each room gives a chance for uh, characters to kind of breathe and discuss how they feel about the situation right now. Um, cause I think that is fun dramatically. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. So, um, there should be a room after this. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, so I'm going to work on the room that I do know. Pardon me. Uh, and that's going to be the final room. Do, 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 do. Let's, uh, actually. Bombs. Basement one. Next one, basement three. No, 
always was just biting its time. I like it. Uh, I feel like there's a good Popeye joke here somewhere. I'm just struggling to find it. Just a bad pun. Legion of the Bread. <laughs> okay, let's wipe all this. Uh, okay, so let's make our final dungeon room here. Um, I don't think it should just be a square. Let's give it a little... Let's give it a little of this, huh? Little of this, little of this. Okay, I think I know how this encounter is going to work. Also, to be interesting, this is the closest I have ever come rules-wise to making 5e characters for uh, the show. I was using uh, Five Torches Deep as a uh, starting point. Um, and it was fun. It was fun to... I'm not fully using Five Torches Deep because uh, a lot of the rules are not really relevant to what we're doing. Um, but 5e players might actually recognize some of the mechanics we're talking about for once. Uh, who are you and what did you do with the real Brian Miller? I don't actually hate... I love to I love to talk a big game. I think if you uh it's not for me, but it's fine. I I played I played it for like 2 years almost exclusively. Um I and and I had a good time with it. Uh and I believe if I if with the right group right now who is interesting kind of like the play style that I'm interested in, I think I'm sure I could have fun with it now. It's just not a game that gives me the tools to uh, run the type of game that I'm interested in. Um, so what I think is happening here is up here is this big giant. I'm not actually an asshole. If you can believe it. Um, I just play one on TV. Okay. I am opinionated, though. That is for sure. I don't actually know what a beef grinder looks like. Because um, this is a big fantasy beef grinder uh, where they plan to bring Bob. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to throw crates here, and they are filled with chunks of beef. Um, and this, uh, giant cow lord, who I think is made of beef, um, can create more little beef goblins. And, like, the little beef goblins, I think, can take, like, a hit, um, and get take. They have one HP, um, But he can make more of them on the fly as he needs. What about Hot Sauce Basil's Flame Potion? That's funny. Um, so we'll just throw some, like, gross-ass beef. I would not trust a burger joint in a medieval fantasy world. Even a fantastical one. This should be a freezer room. That's it. So it's cold in here. Um, meat locker. Um, which, no, you can't ground up beef in a frozen, right? It can be refrigerated. It can be refrigerated. Um, also, it doesn't matter. We're going for it. That sounds fun. And I'm doing it. Fight me forever. You can have uh, one of those diagrams of different cuts of meat on a cow, and it works like a scroll. It gives a temp. That's funny. Frozen French fry monsters is really good. <laughs> Bring out your dead. Uh, let's see here. We got some leakage here. Nope, not quite what we wanted. Send it away forever. 
It's gone now, under the map. We'll never see it again. That was my song, and I hope you liked it. That still wasn't what we wanted, gang. Now we got it. Yeah, we did it. We got to it together. <laughs> Neck how <-mercy. laughs> Oh, that's good. Here's a question. And we'll decide on this together. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw a poll out there. I'm going to throw a poll in the chat right now. You'll see it when I get it up. It's a simple yes-no question. Um, but I will abide by the answer that you choose. Are beef monsters undead? It's a good question, right? Um, currently, it's a full yes. <laughs> I thought... I was initially thinking of them more as... Um, as, like, constructs. Uh, but, no, yeah. Oh, the... For anyone watching on YouTube later, uh, the chat is currently at a full 100% uh, on yes. Um, so I, I think we have a win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably a hive mind of angry cows. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, yeah, that's that's a pretty done deal. Uh, I think our news desk can call it. Uh, the beef monsters are undead. Um, they don't have a cleric, uh, so I don't see the point, but oh well. Uh, well, I guess it depends on their sentience. Like, if they can't move without being controlled, then I say construct. I think they are sentient. Because, um, like, they worship Jean for, like, bringing them life. Um, I don't want to move it all the way to the back. I just want it to go a little to back. But that does not seem to be an option. Give this a little texture here just for maximum grossness. Maximum gross. Okay, let's put like there's a. Uh, I'm going to say there is a uh, refrigeration crystal here. And this is what's keeping the room. This is what's keeping the beef at. A beef refrigeration temperature. Why would you ground the beef in the refrigerated room? I, I don't know. Um, but it makes a fun encounter map. Is the cow golem's name Patty? I don't, I don't even know if it's a golem. Like, like thinking about this as a... Um, Thinking about Bob's Burgers translated through medieval D&D &D fantasy, it's possible they would just bring a whole cow in, right? So this would just be the animated carcass of a cow, right? That makes sense, right? Um, so will the beef start rotting into putrid goo as it oxidizes? Alex, don't think about it. Thinking about it a little hard. Um, still named Patty. Uh, they live in an apartment. Do they, do you really think they have the room? Um, I mean, when you grind meat at home, they tell you to freeze it first to make grinding easier. Okay, great. 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 That's all the justification I need for there to be a big bloody grinder in here that we can put Bob in, in the final encounter. <laughs> that all works for me. It all works for me. We have justified it. And when they ask questions later, you were all complicit. 
no one can make fun of me later because you all joined in. You can make fun of my singing, though. Um, okay, so this is the final encounter room. Um, the goal of the uh, meat things is to... Uh, amiability, that was a great fact, and I appreciate it. Um, so mostly the, the meat monster's goal is going to be to bring Bob to the grinder. Um, and they'll only fight Gene if it stands in their way. Um, so inevitably, I think, uh, because it will establish in this room that they think of Gene as their god. Uh, so like, it's likely Gene will try to, um... Uh, stop them and like declare that he doesn't want this uh in which case the beef monsters will declare that he is a heretic um or that uh or something like that some sort of uh religious zealot um zealotry um to continue on in their mission um <laughs> it's a chive very good um you have to trick Carolyn to stop being a god. Uh, that is true. If there's one thing I know about my good friend Carolyn Page, you give her any godlike powers, she will abuse them. Uh, but she doesn't actually have them. They just think she is. Okay. Okay. Warm beef chunks attacking <laughs> sounds gross. <laughs> I uh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. That's it, you know. I want to throw one more ice patch in here just to make it, like, difficult terrain. Because I think that would be fun. I don't want to use, like, full difficult terrain rules because that's more than I want to like do um but maybe some sort of like to cross over this blue area you have to uh make a check or something to not fall on your ass um because I think that would be amusing let's move all this let's put this down here front to front to front all right cool uh, power word grill uh i like it uh beef monsters with the gene and put the gene in the grinder to become one of them that's fun we'll keep that in mind um I think they're, I think they are very like power, like very forward on, um, sacrificing Bob, but I think that's a secondary, that could be a secondary goal, especially once they show, um, that, uh, Gene is working against them. Uh, if he becomes a burger mass, um, I burned myself really bad today and, uh, there was a blister and, uh, now there isn't and gross, um, but, um, let's see. Drink the blood and eat the blood. <laughs> uh, don't some Christians eat bread like to consume the body of Jesus or whatever? I, I grew up Catholic, and yep, that is true. Okay. We need to make Jesus in his burger costume the whole time. That's funny. Um... Okay. Nope. I messed up. I messed up my labeling. Uh, okay. So what we want to do is, can the meaty boys talk? Uh, I think they, um, I think the meaty boys, I think the cow can talk. Um, you know, he goes into the low register. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, meanwhile, the meaty guys, I think are more type of stuff. Um. 
let's just delete all these and then we can use this room like that okay um so what could be in this room this is a room that uh depending on time we might have to cut so that's worth keeping in mind all right we'll just get rid of it um so it should be something that is fun and interesting but if we have to cut it it's not essential or something i can i can work into Basically, we don't know. Like, if we riff too hard in, like, the first encounter, um, this could have to go. Um, it also would be fun for something that was very pole-reliant. Uh, like, it could be a couple of things. Am I sure? I am not. Will we figure it out? We will. Put that. Put that. All right, heck yeah. Uh, let's see. What if high picked noises? Uh, can they shape shift into meat wad? Uh, Carol is the only one not in New York. Uh, Tony and Carolyn are not in New York. Uh, I got the snow. Uh, it was really delightful to have a snow day. Um, I don't drive, so it's not a problem. Um, it was just nice to uh, chill out. I played a lot of cribbage with my wife. Uh, we watched a lot of TV, and it was great. Uh, what if they find the potions rooms? What if one it's one beef that's making more alive beef? I don't know. That's why they keep generating. Uh, I like that. I think that's happening in the grinder room, though. I think that's kind of... This room is the major factory for it. Um, Twitch just yeeted me off here as soon as you started discussing snow. <laughs> Um, let's see, God, what could this room be? Um, okay, okay, I'm mean, like, what, what would Bob put, what would the room be in the first place, right? Um, this is the dungeon beneath Bob's Burgers, um, which is mostly just for storage, um, what would so we've got some clear storage areas here we've got meat here and the answer might be this is just this isn't this is just a three room thing um maybe we don't need this second room i'll feel real dumb if we do and like we're running short on time or we're running long on time if you will but uh, walk-in freezer, yeah, you know, we kind of covered walk... That's a great idea, but we kind of covered that here. Um, uh, but the dry ingredients aren't alive. Um, well, vinegar storage. Uh, in one episode, they turned it into a pool. Uh, potato storage. That's all... Okay, okay. I like the potato storage. Uh, that could be fun. Okay, okay, so this is for storage for general food ingredients that are not uh, meat. Greens, potatoes. <laughs> uh... The crawl space of the dungeon. Screws me duck vault of ingredients. I like that. Pickles. Oh, so many pickles. Um, uh, and also, there's a cow here. Uh, you guys want to see me try to draw a cow? I'm going to legit try my best to draw a good cow. There's a cow here. There's a living cow here. Uh, and, um, okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to I'm going to set this precedent here. I'm drawing with a mouse. 
it wouldn't be any better if I had a pen and a piece of paper. Um, this, this would be the same objective quality. Cow time. Here we go. You guys can name the cow. Uh, okay, we're giving him kind of this body. I think I'm just going to go stick legs. I think stick legs are the move. The move, if you will. He's got a big old head here. This is a nightmare. Oh, no, what have I done? Okay, okay. So we got kind of his body here, and uh, I think I think it's coming out great. I actually think this is a great cow. Um, We'll give a leg another leg another leg do cows have tails this one does check out that tail um got some black spots um uh, we'll put like a collar this is this is this isn't an eaten cow this is for making cheese this is the cheese cow um needs a nose I'm not even going to look at your reactions yet because I know they're all about how good of a cow this is um, and what a great job I'm doing and how you all like me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, it's like a terrible Dalmatian. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, do, do lady cows have horns? Do lady cows have any horns? I don't think so. I don't think so. This one does. Um, and that's okay. Here's some udders. Here's some udders. I'm not going to draw each individual like udder. You know what, guys? That's a great cow. Can the cow have a little bell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bell time. Bell time. Bell, 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 bell time. Check out that bell. It's a little bell. All longhorns have horns. Great. Guys, that is an acceptable cow. It's a little big, but we can fix that. We can fix it. First off, we're going to move it to the object layer. And we're going to move this back in place objects we go and shrink her down a little guys what if for tokens <laughs> <laughs> oh no what if for tokens I drew them like this I don't think I could do it I don't think they would even be fucking like, that is, like, okay, you can see that I tried to draw a cow. I think if I tried to draw Bob, uh, it would not look good. Um, I'll try, okay, I will try to draw Bob. Uh, and if it's good, we'll use it as a token. Uh, but I don't think it'll look good. Um, okay. Uh, so, we'll cut that root. Guys, I think we have an alright little dungeon here. That's not bad. Uh, so I'll probably like throw some options for a potential encounter in here. Um, they're probably the the little meat monsters are probably doing something with this cow, like trying to like ride it as a steed. Um, but uh, let's also throw uh some things in the crates. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Potatoes. Boy, let's mash them. Stick them in a box. Um, what's this? I don't know. This is orange. And this is a different green. Uh, let's see. Uh, is Louise in this because her token could be bunny ears? That's a great idea. Uh, no, no Louise or Tina yet. Um, I have statted them up. Um, a guest will likely play them if they want or anybody else. We usually let the guest pick. Um, and then like, um, people have changed characters before and they might again. We'll see. 
Um, but... <laughs> I do like this. I don't know if it makes any sense in our little story, but uh, potatoes are also sentient, but totally neutral and accepting of their fate. <laughs> Tell you what. Okay. Uh, we will make these. These are the potatoes right here. And uh, yes, if I'm not going to bring it up on my own, but if anyone goes to look at the potatoes, I will mention that the potatoes are also sentient and just fine with their lot in life. <laughs> they should either have normal eyes or angry eyes. I think they're just put, like just fine and okay. Um... <laughs> Is that a thing? Are potatoes just alive? And do people know that? Um... Potatoes dancing in the Slicer and Fryer. <laughs> Uh, I like all that. Oh, man, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, okay. I actually feel really good. I think this is going to be a good episode, guys. Um, okay. I said I would try to draw Bob. And if it works, we'll use it as a token. But I don't think it's going to work. I am not bringing up a reference drawing. I have to do this from memory. Guys, this is going to be so bad. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, no. All right, already off to a false start. That's too big. That's simply too large of a line. <coughs> okay. Let's go regular. Regular sounds good. No, wrong color. See, God doesn't want this to happen. He looks like a dad. I'm on my way to a Bob aesthetic, and I don't mind it. I don't hate it. Brian, buddy, just do symbols. Like, that's probably what we're going to do, but I got to fill, like, 20 more minutes of a stream, the state of Arizona. Uh, and we did it. We did it. We finished our dungeon. Um... Bob's Burgers was actually in my wedding vows. If you'll believe it. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. I didn't intend this to be a front-facing thing because um, that's never how they are in the show, but that's what we're doing now. No, we need to go tinier. It's too big. It's simply too big. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. God doesn't want this to happen. I think that's what we're learning together. Uh, so as a rule, can we make whoever is Bob and Jean wear fake mustaches like when she made herself look like Bob? I like it. Um, there's a nose, guys. It's a nose. Bob's got a little. Bob's got a mustache. Bob's got a mustache and a face. A little smile. It was an accident, but we're gonna go with it. And some eyes. And he's got some hair. I would like to announce my, my new channel, Bad Drawfee. Okay, he needs a little ear. It's good. I'm not even looking at the reactions because I don't need that negativity in my life. I got a little guy here. He should wear. He should wear a little something. Have a little spatula.
Oh no, I did a bad job. Just did a bad thing. This is good content. Everybody likes what I'm doing. The show is gonna be successful because I'm doing a good job. And everybody likes hanging out with me. Spatula can't be the same shade of body as him. That would be ridiculous. He's got an onyx spatula. And it's spatula shaped. It's spatula shaped. That is what a spatula looks like in Dungeons and Dragons. Also, there is fire. It's on fire. It's a cool fire spatula. That's important to the plot. Gotta be a little smaller so the fire doesn't take up the whole thing. Oh no, now it's bad. No. Oh no. Oh no, guys, we fucking ruined it. I fucking blew it again. Oh. Oh. Fire spatula. Guys, that's Bob. I'm going to look at the responses now. Oh, man, great job. Good job. Great. Oh, wow. Brian, you did great. Brian did a good job. Brian, this this looks like Brian should be hired by Bob's Burgers to animate more. Wow, guys, that was all so nice of you. Um, I You know, I, I think we'll stick to icons for this, but, like, this is basically straight out of Bob's Burgers. Um, I did do a good job. I did a great job. Uh, hey gang, thank you for helping me prep my, uh, prep the show for Thursday. Uh, I hope you'll come hang out on Thursday, 930, uh, on TV and D and see how this all turns out. I, I don't know. Um, typically what happens is, uh, I plan and then nothing happens. Or not nothing happens, just like it goes completely off of the rail. Should we raid Nathan? Yeah, I'm sure Nathan needs the 18 people here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'd I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. Um But no, go over to Nathan. Uh thank you for hanging out. Uh when uh thank you for hanging out, just in general. Uh so gang. We'll be back Thursday uh, for a new TV and D. It's the beginning of our Bob's Burgers campaign. You basically saw how I ho how I think it's gonna go, uh, but that's never quite how it works out. Um, let me know in the Discord what you thought about doing it this way. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you like getting to be a part of it in this way? Maybe Infinite Dungeon can skew this way a little bit. Um, I don't know how to raid people. I also don't know the name. I don't know how to do it. Um. So, all right, real fast. I will figure out how to raid. Dane, cut this off here uh, for YouTube. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, basically, uh, hey, if you just maybe jumped in, uh, if you want to hit the follow button on Twitch, uh, I'd appreciate that a lot. And, um... If you want to hit follow on YouTube, we'd also appreciate that a lot. Uh, also, hey, if you have a couple extra Bezos bucks, that uh, does help us keep doing this show. Um, so, I want to post this link in Discord, but it might be a spoiler for Carolyn and Tony are not going to watch it. It's okay. <laughs> um, uh, Nathan's other show thank you hope to see you on thursday uh join our discord uh like subscribe follow do do all the things on the platforms thank you goodbye everybody rating in seconds
do I need to still be on the air when it raids? I don't even know. I don't even know how this works. Goodbye. I'm still here. Goodbye.